Greetings and welcome to this virtual worship service of Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for Sunday, May 10th, the fifth Sunday of Easter. Our scripture reading this afternoon is taken from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Don't let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In God's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, you may be there also. You know where I go, and you know the way. These are God's words, and they are for us, God's people. Thanks be to God. Well, in addition to this being the fifth Sunday of Easter, today is also Mother's Day. And I thought it was a rather lovely coincidence that the scripture reading today is one of the scripture readings that is near and dear to my own mother's heart. So today's service is dedicated to her Curly, you probably won't see this, unfortunately, but this is for you. This scripture verse was always very, very close to my mother's heart. I remember her saying it and reading it and quoting it a number of different times in her life. And my mother didn't always have the easiest life, but... Uh, she, her faith in God, her belief in Jesus is strong. It has been strong for over 90 years and God willing will continue to be strong for many years to come. I remember one particularly troubling time in my family's life. Uh, my father had had some health issues and um, my mother was very worried and she was worried that she wouldn't have the strength, that her heart wouldn't be able to take it. And one thing that my mother always did, and hopefully still does, is she would have a daily devotion. She would take time aside to sit and pray and meditate over scripture. I, I believe it's called the Lectio Divinia. She did it, whether realizing it, that that's what it was called or not, but that's what she does. And one particular day she was reading and praying and meditating over all the things going on in her life. And she opened her Bible and as she was wondering whether or not, you know, she could deal with all of these things and if her heart could take it, she opened up her Bible to John 14, and the first words she read were, Don't let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I think today, in all this bizarre, unusual stuff going on in the world, with a quarantine, with people acting strangely and not thinking, clearly, quite frankly, about uh, their safety and the safety of others, it can sometimes be very daunting and, and we can wonder, are we going to make it? Are we going to be okay? Well, I believe that Jesus' words to us today are the answer. Don't let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe in me. Believe in Jesus. Trust that things will work out. I believe they will. So, thank you, Pearlie, for that wonderful, heartfelt lesson that I have never forgot. Don't let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in Jesus in all the many wonderful names of Jesus. Amen. 
The prophet Isaiah said, As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. Let us pray. Mother in God, we cherish your great love for us. As the creator, you made us in your image and called life from the earth and water. In baptism, we are born anew from water and spirit, and your love and care are made known to us as we grow in faith. We give you thanks for those who have been mothers and stepmothers in our lives, for grandmothers and aunts, and all those who have been like mothers to us, who have shown us your comfort and courage, peace and strength. God of peace, we acknowledge that this day was originally created for mothers grieving the loss of their children in war. We grieve with all who have lost a child, who have struggled with fertility issues, who have had to give up children to foster care and adoption. May your love surround us, hold us in these tender times. Loving God, we hold tenderly the ones who have difficult relationships with their mothers, for those who have separated in relationship. We weep with those who are missing their mothers. In these difficult times, O oh God, we know the distance that separates us, the physical distance for safety, the distance of time for those gone, the distance of fading memories. We know the distance of, est of estrangement. We pray for healing whenever possible, O oh God, for forgiveness wherever possible, and for the hope that you bring in our lives. Hold us, loving parent, in your healing hands on this day. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. O oh God, our divine parent, may your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities of life, sustenance for our bodies and inspiration for our spirits. And may the forgiveness we give be that which we receive, the kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and distance us from evil. For your world is our world and your reign our reign. Then now and always. May it be so. God is with us. Let us lift up our hearts, yes, lift them up to God. Most loving God, we know that you are with us wherever we are, no matter how we come together. We remember now how you took the bread, blessed it after the manner of your people, broke it, and gave it to your friend, saying, Take, this is my body, given for you. We remember now how after the meal, you took the cup and blessed it too after the manner of your people, and passed it among your friends, saying, This is my love, poured out for you and for everyone. Whenever you do these things, remember me. And we remember, too, the mystery of our faith, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Hallelujah. Loving God, we give thanks for the opportunity to meet. For we know that wherever two or more are gathered in your name, even virtually, you are with us. Be with us now as we wait out this trying time so that when we can go back outside, we can be your love and your light in a world that so desperately needs it. In all your many and wonderful names. Amen.
Thank you for joining us once again for this virtual worship service. We hope that in time, hopefully sooner than later, the quarantine restrictions will be lifted and once again we will be able to meet again in person. But until then, in the name of the God who creates us, Jesus who saves us, and the Holy Spirit who gives us comfort and strength, be with us now and remain with us always until we can meet again. And all God's people said, Amen.